There's no one I'd rather talk politics with than Macy Hensley. She's only five years old, and even though I spent two weeks in college, Macy knows way more about presidential history than I do. Here she is, the future president of the United States. So you know all about presidents. When did you start learning about presidents? Oh, when I was about, oh, since I was four. Four. <laughs> and you're five now, so about a year now. Yeah. And what made you get interested in presidents? Oh, well, I started <laughs> telling everybody the presidents on money, and I was asking for everybody's Jackson. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> and Very so, smart. Well, then after that, my grandma bought me some flashcards mm -hmm. with the presidents. Right. And, I and on the back, I started reading facts. Uh-huh. And so that's how. That's how. And also books. Yes. You read books. Yeah. Five. OK. Um, <laughs> and I, I heard you made up a song so you could remember all the presidents. Yeah. Can, can we hear the song? Sure. OK. Washington Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, McKinley, Roosevelt, Will, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama. Wow. Amazing. Wow. I'm not going to be able to get that out of my head tonight. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite president? Zachary Taylor. And why is that? Because he wears blue, because he was a general in the Mexican War, and blue's my favorite color. Oh, blue's my favorite color, too. So he's my favorite president now, too. <laughs> and you, so you wanted a Zachary Taylor-themed birthday cake at a whole party, right? Yeah, Did but you... I didn't get it. Oh. My mom just got me a White House cake instead. Oh, well, that's nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to the White House? Nope. Oh, you, sh you should go. That would be nice, right? Yeah. I think so, too. Hey, what do you want to do when you grow up? Be become president. I want you to. <laughs> I would love that. And w why do you want to become president? So I eat all the candy I want. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's as good a reason as any. Uh, so I'm going to test you on your presidential knowledge, OK? OK. And uh, so the first one is? Washington. And tell me what you know about George Washington. Um, Who was the first lady? Martha. Mm -hmm. And the vice president? John Adams. Any fun fact? Um, the story of the cherry tree wasn't true. A newspaper man just made it up so people would like him. Wow. <laughs> what, they were making stuff up back then. Ooh. That's amazing. One more. But by the time of Washington's presidency, he only had one real tooth left. <laughs> I like that fun fact. Who's this? John Quincy Adams. And who was the first lady? Louisa. And uh, the vice president was? John C. Calhoun. OK, do you have any fun facts on him? He swam naked in the Potomac. <laughs> A pet alligator? That seems dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. I think you know who this is. Zachary Taylor. That's too easy. And uh, there's a fun fact that doesn't seem so fun. What's the fun fact here? Oh, he wore a wool suit to the 4th of July, and he got too hot. Then he, he drank two full glasses of milk and some cherries. Uh -huh. That's how he died. Some people thought that the cherries were poisonous. <laughs> You just do this all day long. Who's this? Rutherford B. Hayes. Uh-huh. And who was the vice president? Uh, William Wheeler. 
Yeah, sure, you remember that guy. Um, <laughs> fun fact, he was the first president to have what? A telephone. And what was his phone number? One. <laughs> oh, also his wife, they, they called her Lemonade Lucy because she never served alcohol at the White House. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic.